Morning, Monday morning. Is it the 9th? 9th of June? I think it's the 9th. Well, it's Monday. Just uh, coming to work. It's cold. And it's we've had a lot of rain last night. Just checking pigs now. Oh, we had a bit of a leak in here. Floor's all wet. I wonder if that's come through the door. Or has it come from back of that? Ah, it's come back of the gutter. I'll, let, I'll flip you around, it'll be a bit easy. Looks like where the gutter finishes on the building, it's coming underneath there. We, we siliconed it and uh, put some tape on it, but it seems to not working. Put lights on. Yeah, there's, there's not much to do in here till maybe muck them out Friday. Seems to be doing well though. I shut the gill breaker the other day on spinning around without making you feel dizzy. Yeah, I shut the gill breaker because there's a bit of a draft coming. I don't feel like June. Just getting in. TM. I was going to go put my pallet tines on um, and go outside and shake the troughs because um, they were about empty last night so I was going to shake them, clean all the soil out of them. Dad's just getting to because he's going to put the bucket on and come out into the field and I'm just waiting for him to pull out the shit so I can get the pallet tines on. So I've got two sets. These ones are good because the pallet tines bend for like build, builder pallet tines. I don't know if you can see, but these pallet tines are good because you put the pallets in and they're like, they swing, they're only attached to top, so you, so you could turn it like that and it will just let the pallet tines go in. A um, bit better than proper fixed ones, but these are rubbish doing every other job and set for this. So I'm in now, so I'll lift, put, them, uh, put, put it in neutral, put handbrake on. I'll just lift it up. Give her a good just lift it up. Get all the soil out of it. My dad's just in Terex now. He's uh, getting a load of food. Right. Put it down. Jobs are good and I've got to do all of them, every single one. So we've got two, four, six, eight. Eight choffs to clean out. Let's put that back, back where she was. Pull boom back in. This is a joy because you can lift. You can lift up now and the pallet tines just fall out. Right, I'll go do the rest of them. That's just in two weeks. Dipping food in. This is what I mean about the pellet tines. We're just attached with this one one bar, so it's not attached at the bottom on normal ones. You've got it attached at the bottom, and it's you know you don't get as much movement with this. You you could swing them, and they're just ideal for this job, lifting choffs up and down. Lovely. I'll just show you. I need to. I don't know. I might move this trough actually because there's a big puddle there. Unless I, I might. Unless I cut a bale and put some straw there. Yeah. Right, guys. I'm just gonna do a bit of bedding up.
can actually move you and stick it, stick the, stick the holder onto the bin. Let's see if that works. You're just a bit far away there, right? If I stick you. That's a bit better, isn't it? I'm cutting this bale up here. A bit of water around the trough. For all that rain last night. Any more rain, I don't want to use that as much straw I'm using now. I was expected not to use this much straw. What have I used since I've been here? A week and a half, two weeks. I've used one, two, three, four bales. So, right, I'll leave it there because it's on three minutes. Just finished them all now. I'm back for my GoPro, not GoPro, my, uh, my phone holder mount. I left it on top of the feeder. So let's go get in the TM. And um, we've got um, a get of, uh, I need to finish flat decks off actually. Flat decks and the four bays. Then we've got a bit of jabbing to do. There's a few pigs down. What we need to put in med pen. So I'm just on with uh, making a bit of uh, cement. Um, I'm going to put four building sand and I've got some um, uh, grit sand so I'm going to do half and half just to make it a bit more tough because grit sand's a lot better than building sand for pigs anyway I normally put four half a bag of cement then four, four again so it's like eight, so it's like eight, eight, eight sand and half a bag of cement but that's mixed in lovely at, so I'm going to put a bit more grit sand, probably a bit more water and we're going to be good to go. I got these bags given to me um, and I thought they were sand and cement, I've just opened a bag and it's um, it's mixed for like so, uh, for doing driveways, it's got big big cobbles in it like that, that pile there for making cement, you know, for, for like tough floors and stuff so I can't do that so I'm just going to have to do the mix with a full but with a full building sand um, that's that never mind you've just got to work with what you've got on you just after bait we just come out um, I've got all this mortared in here I mean, now but we're some with this, we've found this old gale breaker so I've just priced one up it was about 800 quid so we've got a new bit to go inside to put back up <laughs> but I'll just show you this where I've been doing all this um, sand and cement. So there's just holes everywhere. But it seems to have just rebuilt that as well. So she's she's uh, watertight again. So we're just uh, putting a bit of grease in so we can get the guts inside a bit easier. And we'll get a, we made a special bracket on on there. I'll show you when I get up there just got the gill break on this end this is that bracket I was talking about we made an angle iron we welded two bolts through it on the other side uh, and we've just twisted that you've got to twist it because there's a spring inside that um, then we just popped it on I've got a, a bolt to put there uh, to put the nut washer on then we'll let it go and see if we're tightening it up enough so first time we pulled it down 
went down perfect tried to get it back up the spring wasn't tight enough but we got a special special um spanner what goes in the side and you can tighten it tighten it up so yeah it's working now and the only thing we've got to do now is uh, what you hook it under this side is just that one's moving because it, it's not lined up so. hey guys uh, i've finished work now um been a good day today we've got a few job a lot well a lot of jobs done in the other building now so uh, just need to put lights up give a feeders and water sorted then um our shed's done um um it's only a short video today um but i thought i'd get one on because uh we've got our next busy in it for the next few days so thanks for watching guys if you made it it's far don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you tomorrow oh and i hope you have a good week have a good one